With the Ten of Wands, though, I feel like this is a week of burdens. You got a lot on your plate, a lot to take care of, responsibilities being thrown at you. You could find yourself feeling exhausted by the end of the week or not really being able to catch a break and wanting to. With you have the Seven of Swords. I believe Libra had this as the first card. You have it as the last in the main story, which I feel... I feel as though you're seeing this as someone else in your world getting away with something of yours, taking something from you, most likely of value. The Ten of Pentacles is here. This could be actual money or, you know, not really tearing apart a family, but breaking a commitment. Someone maybe said they were going to do something like a partner said they were going to be at home at a certain time or you had an event, a date with your partner and they just either stood you up or you find them lying about their circumstance. And I think the Queen of Wands could be, well, this could be your partner. This could be your energy as well. As your energy, I see you getting very passionate maybe even angry at all the demands that are being placed on you with the Ten of Wands and this possible lying that's going on in the background. You find that it's starting to just upset you. You might find yourself being more aggressive this week overall and losing your temper. That's the vibe I get with this Queen of Wands. If this is your partner, that could be them. They're losing their temper for whatever reason and you don't trust it. You feel like they're hiding something, maybe trying to pick a fight for the sake of not having to go to something that they said they would go to with you and instead they're doing something else and you don't trust whatever it is that they're doing. That could be a burden that you find yourself carrying. This could be someone at work as well that you feel is a liar or not trustworthy, has taken a project of yours or taken something from yours tied to work and it's as if they're coming off as the person who's doing all the work when it in fact is you. All right, Ten of Wands. You definitely want a break. You want to rest by the end of the week. You're done. You're like, I need a vacation. I'm not coming back until the responsibilities are more uh, spread out amongst other people and of course if you can't spread them out because it is just you that has to take them a lot this is just you dropping it all or wanting to drop it all and take a rest because i get the sense of feeling exhausted seven of swords we got some lies going on what you could have found messages romantic messages from your partner to someone else or some form of emotional connection happening in the background it feels shady this could be emotional manipulation or, again, someone saying that I get an invite, the vibe of an invite that someone said they would go to, and then they're, like, changing their mind or making up an excuse. Now, that could be you doing it, but I feel like it's being done to you most of all because I, if you're doing it, I feel like it's because you're tired and you've got so much on your plate that you just want to break. Um, but for the most part, I think it's being done to you, and that's just an added burden of feeling like you can't trust other people and again wanting to just be like you know what fuck it all and stepping away for a bit queen of wands what can you tell me about the queen of wands all right this one wants to go to the seven of swords well we do have success here and better days coming forward or maybe even something coming to light six of wands on its own is usually victorious energy um this could be you need to, or someone comes clean and you are right about something. Like you had suspected an issue. Someone was lying or whatnot and then you get to the truth. And you get to that truth because someone else told you through a message. This could be another contact, a close friend. Or that person directly just comes clean. That's the vibe I get with this combination. is feeling like you are right about something that's tied to some form of deception. Queen of Wands. Ooh, three of Swords. There is a painful separation tied to this Queen of Wands. I feel like that's made her angry. And that's why I feel like it might be your energy where you're you're just angry this week and upset and it's enraged you a bit. 
And so you're showing up as the Queen of Wands. Now for others, this is a person that you've broken up with, or them, you, or there's just heartbreak surrounding this situation. Something has not quite go gone well, possibly due to deception, and I feel this vibe of, you were right about something. I was right all along. I feel like a friend is helping you, though. They're not here in the reading. I just feel like through messages or contacts, someone's giving you information. Ten of Pentacles. At the job, or even in your family, you feel left out. On some level, you feel this is like, this feels like a broken commitment, like someone abandoned a commitment, an expectation, and there you are feeling like an idiot being left out here while you were waiting all night. You're left out in the cold, and this person didn't have like the respect enough to say the truth. That is the vibe I'm getting with that combination. And that could also relate to feeling left out in your job, for instance. If you were part of a project, it's like the people gathered behind your back and finished it without you, or something like that, where it's either without you, shafting you for whatever reason, because they're bitches. All right, so I wasn't actually thinking of any card, and I pulled out the Nine of Chalices. So I'm going to use this as a hope card. Keep the spirit alive. There is a wish here for you. It's still there. This could just be one of those weeks where it's a bummer week, you know, and things aren't working out quite well, but you do have emotional satisfaction coming in. And hang on to that dream if you, you know, you're having a particular wish, something you want satisfied, I would say hang on to it because it's there. It's just um, this week is a little bit of a buzzkill. And I'm also going to read this Five of Cups. It says, don't let the fact that this week is negative get you down. So usually in this card, see if I can see it here. Well, yeah, you've got, it's hard to see probably in this, but you've got a bunch of cups falling off the cliff. And you've lost them. They're gone. But there's still two cups there. There's still your little Nine of Cup wish, and they're there in those two cups. So... Even though it feels like you lost them, you can't get them back, they're out of reach. It's not really the case. There's still two more there. You just got to take a moment to mourn the ones that you've lost and pick yourself up, turn around and see the fact that there's still two cups there and that hope is essentially renewed. I just had the, the image of focus seems to be on skills or a job. It could be finances as well, but I feel like you're very determined here. You're quite focused on your work. That is what this very young child appears to be doing, and they're focused on perfecting this work. You might find yourself very focused and determined, most likely where a job is concerned or anything, again, that you might be very passionate about or you just want to complete. And the Three of Pentacles reemphasizes skills as the focus and, again, um, working on your talents and abilities, possibly learning something. This could involve a team. Uh, building a new skill as well. Some of you might be actually getting recognition. This guy is building this beautiful sculpture that other people can quite easily see. And he's very talented, so that's why this person has been hired to do so. Now, with the Four of Cups here, this week, the opportunities that come in, we have the Knight of Cups, so I do feel like someone is reaching out. This can be love-focused, but it doesn't have to be. Someone might simply love what you do and is offering you something, is reaching out. But with the Four of Cups next to this Knight of Cups, I don't feel like the interest is there. I feel like you want to focus on whatever it is that you do. I feel like you want to focus on work. I, I think this might be tied more to a romantic invitation or just any invitation that's coming up. You don't really want to engage because you're, again, more focused on your work or on completing something. You're more interested in doing that. That's how I feel anyway. All right, so for more information, I have my little clarifying deck. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles has you very diligent and focused here. What are you so focused and working hard on? This is an awakening here, so you're fo you feel like this is something that you have to complete. 
and you do not want to stop until it's completed. This is like your wake up call. So maybe this is a project you really wanted to be a part of, or this is something, this is your passions. And it's like a now or never situation where again, you have, you feel like this inner calling. I have to work on this. I have to complete it. Big decision that you've made here with justice. So you're definitely very focused. And it feels very strongly like this is what you're meant to do. You got to complete it. And we have the fool associated with that as well. So this is something that you consider might be a risk in some way. But it's also a new adventure for you and you're excited about it. You want to see where it goes and you're putting the effort, definitely putting the hard work to see it through. Three majors. And three great majors. Now the four of cups, you have an invitation that's coming up. And you're not really interested in it. Why? That's interesting. So this invitation doesn't appear to be romantic, but it's someone offering you money, offering you a job. An in, another invitation as well that's tied to most likely your hard work. They're seeing the value in what you can offer and they're like, come join us or how about we do this or how about you take on this position. And you don't feel like you're interested in that. It could be that there's something else that you want to do, something else that you have a passion for that is completely different from your just your regular job. Your regular job is saying, we want you in this position because you have the talent and skills, but you're not really feeling it. You're not sure if you want to take it, where it's going to lead. I, I don't feel like you're interested in it at all. You want to reject it. You might even be afraid to a degree of taking this opportunity. For some, some could be receiving an offer that they're saying they want to pay you for your work. And it can be creative and artistic with the moon here. For whatever reason, you don't want to accept the payment. Maybe you're afraid of that thing that you love to do becoming a job and you no longer having that love for it. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups here, and this is an emotional card. They are bringing some form of invitation or news themselves. It's definitely an invitation, most likely connected to romance. We have the Page of Chalices. You could be offering someone something as well, asking them out, or just responding to a message, and it's favorable. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This can be positive feedback that's coming your way, that's tied, again, to your skills, your work, this can definitely be another job opportunity that is coming in. Now, I feel like if that's the case, there's more than one opportunity. One you don't want, or one you don't want to set payment for. You're not really into it. Because I think that you, you think it's going to take away from the love that you have for whatever it is that you're doing. And it might be artistic. And meanwhile, here you have like all this good news, all these good emotional uh, messages coming in. The Knight of Pentacles is tied to that, so again, it might be tied to what it is you're working very hard in. And it might be yet another offer, a contract of some kind. And this one you're very positive about. And this could also, for some, be romantic. As an aside, this could be a romantic invitation with someone who is interested in taking things very slowly as the Knight of Pentacles. I do think, and this just flipped over. All right, Five of Pentacles is here. It did kind of come out reverse, so I think you might find yourself coming out of a situation where you've experienced difficulty, especially where finances are concerned, and that's turning around for you. Three of Pentacles. We have teamwork, work here. Well, there's a burdens coming up, so you're definitely, you're working hard. Uh, it might actually be to the point where you exhaust yourself or you start gaining a lot more responsibilities and it starts making you anxious. Maybe you want to leave the situation. You don't want to do it anymore after the fact. We do have the Four of Wands, so... It's interesting. There is some sort of fear tied to a celebration. 
like by gaining more recognition you gain more responsibilities and you kind of don't want that it's like you want to uh remain under the radar and as an aside i didn't ask for anything we have some sort of past connection coming up this can be someone that you're connecting to the queen of swords she's very impartial she's also logical this can be the person the friend that you go to for advice because they'll they'll tell you the truth without batting an eye and they won't sugarcoat a damn thing could be an older woman as well sometimes she comes up for me as a matriarch uh, but they're connected to the past and you might be just uh, reaching out to them to get their what their thoughts are their feelings are could be a past relationship or someone that you used to work with someone that you that might be a mentor for you as well they could be an old teacher or professor uh, but you value their opinion you respect them and there is a, there's some sort of like traditional relationship between you and them so I see like teacher student uh, again someone that you work with a co-worker that was very reliable dependable and uh, I do see them as someone that you most likely looked up to as a child or just in the younger years or a few years ago Actually, why I keep shuffling? I'm like, what do I want clarifying cards? Let me just get one more from these for the overall week, too. You know, I already have one card. All right, there we go. Magician. So if anything, even if you have this little doubt that's creeping in about your own work and getting recognition or money for it, you've got the magician. So you're definitely a creator this week. You're quite active. You're uh, taking action on ideas and thoughts. And... This is a focus on work and creation, so I think this is a busy week for you. And you're putting a lot of energy again to the thing that you want to work hard in. So it might not necessarily be that 9 to 5 boring job. It could be something on the side that there's a lot of creativity behind it and you're taking that initiative. 